In a lecture in 1893, Nikola Tesla first spoke on searching for the Earth's resonant frequency. If ever we can ascertain at what period the Earth's charge, when disturbed, oscillates, we shall know a fact possibly of the greatest importance to the welfare of the human race. I propose to seek for the period by means of an electrical oscillator or a source of alternating electric currents. It is possible that the outer conducting air strata, or free space, contain an opposite charge, and that together with the Earth, they form a condenser of very large capacity. In such case, the period of vibration may be very low. By varying the frequency of the currents, and carefully observing the potential of the insulated body, and watching for the disturbance at various neighboring points of the Earth's surface, resonance might be detected. In 1899, he calculated that frequency to be right around 8 hertz. Fifty-four years later, W. O. Schumann narrowed down that value to 7.83 hertz, which is now known as the Schumann resonance, defined as the sympathetic frequency in response to the vibration generated by lightning events in the cavity between the ionosphere and the surface of the Earth. The vibration of 7.83 cycles per second is not considered a musical note in the harmonic series. The closest harmonic note would be the note of C at 8 Hz, which scales up to 256 Hz at middle C. If we scale the Schumann resonance up to this octave, the two tones are 5.44 Hz apart and produce an audible beat. Seven point eight three is a very uneloquent number, especially when comparing it to harmonic values like twenty four, two fifty six, or the well known four thirty two. But if you iterate seven point eight three through its doubles, triples, sextuples, or its times nines, and then reduce these uneloquent numbers with their messy decimals using vortex math, they actually reduce down to harmonic values. A quick refresher on reducing values to a single digit via vortex math. The number 864 reduces to 8 plus 6 plus 4, or 18, which then reduces to 1 plus 8, or 9. Doubling through the octaves of the Schumann resonance, we find that the first six octaves of 7.83 produce values that all reduce to 9, which is the note of D as D enters the harmonic series at harmonic 9. The number 7.83, though, is closer to the value of harmonic 8, which is the note of C. We would say that 7.83 Hz is also a C, but a little flat. And strangely enough, we also see the harmonic values for C8 showing up in the octaves of 7.83 in the extreme outer positions of each value, those being 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, and 512. Tripling 7.83, we see the values still all reduced to 9, but the last two get there not through the value of 18, the note of D, but through 27, the note of A. In the time sixes, all the decimals end in the number 8 and the pattern of 9888286808 and 48 continues to repeat indefinitely. And finally, in the times nines, we see harmonics 18 and 27 showing up yet again, as well as 36, which is an octave of D, harmonic 9. If we iterate the times nines out farther, we see repeats of the harmonic values of D and A. But in the 7th iteration, we get a value of 45, and in the 16th iteration, a value of 81. And though they both reduce to 9, these aren't harmonic values as far as the harmonic chromatic scale is concerned. They're both odd numbers, meaning they would both be brand new harmonics, and would be considered microtones because they're generated after harmonic 32. But both of these values are interesting. The first is F-sharp at 45. The harmonic series places F-sharp at harmonic 44, 
entering the series at harmonic 11. But F-sharp at 45 is a value that was used by the Sumerians and Babylonians, scaled up to 720. They centered their scales on the note of D, and expanded out in both directions in intervals of fourths and fifths. Considering the Sumerian focus on fourths and fifths, as well as the difference between harmonic C and the fifth octave of the Schumann resonance being 5.44 Hz, it seems that these two numbers together, 4 and 5, might hold some significance. And on a completely different tangent, William Donahue points out that in Daniel chapter 5 of the Bible, the phrase written by the hand on the wall, mene mene tekelo parson, meaning numbered numbered weighed divided, has numerological significance, as the value of the word mene, or numbered, is 4555. 4 and 5 also show up in the strange number I discussed in this earlier video. I found the strange number when dividing for the ratio between the fifth and the fourth, between G and F, when G's value is 384, and F's value is generated using Plato's harmonic mean of 341.33 repeating. So if we divide G at 384 by F at 341 with 100 threes after the decimal point, we end up with a number incredibly close to the 9 to 8 ratio of 1.125, but it's 1.125 with 99 zeros after it, and then a strange number tacked on the end, 10986328125. This strange number isn't just randomly showing up at the end of this long decimal. If we divide 384 by 341 with only 95 threes, the strange number shows up again, but earlier. The basics of the strange number are that its value reduces down, using vortex math, to a value of 45, which again reduces to 9. The 45 speaks directly to the relationship of the perfect fourth to the perfect fifth. And 45 sits at the mi's position between F at harmonic 42 and G at harmonic 48. But what's most noticeable here is that the arrangement of 42, 45, and 48 fits perfectly into the 369 system on the Mobius circuit, with G's value of 48 reducing to 3, F's value of 42 reducing to 6, and the value of 45 reducing to 9. And both 45 and the strange number show up in the math of digital data transfer as well. It appears as the value of mebibits that can be transferred in one minute at a transfer rate of 1,440 terabytes per minute, with 1440 being the fifth octave of 45. Another relationship between the strange number and 45 is that both of them, as reciprocals, where one is divided by that number, produce a repeating digit of 2 which is shown here in the online encyclopedia of integer sequences. Notice that in the list of numbers producing repeating twos are several octaves of D at harmonic 9. In fact, every even number listed here is an octave of D. Moving on to the second value of 81, that's the note of E. The harmonic series places E at harmonic 80, but Pythagorean tuning through the stacking of fifths generates E at 81. And in fact, the values of 80 and 81 are personified in the Phantom of the Opera, where the Phantom represents harmonic E, and Christine Day represents Pythagorean E. Her last name also illustrates two sets of stacked fifths, D to A and A to E, culminating in the value of 81. And all of this is folded into the reduced values of various multiples of the Earth's resonant frequency. Who would have thought all this data relating to various musical tuning systems would be wrapped up in this little number 7.83? 
I'm grateful for any feedback. Please leave your thoughts in the comments, and thank you for watching.